Hi everyone! Good morning! Good morning! It's so early and we are so happy. Happy Monday! Nga yes, okay. thank you for joining us this early morning. Yes, thank you for joining us again in Relationship Goals. Tips for a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. In our episode today, we're going to talk about forgiveness, forgiveness in marriage. marriage. Yes. Yeah, so we might uh, be asking, oh, Brother, sister, or Tony, Cressa, napakasaya ng marriage namin nung first and second year. Pero bakit ngayon? Parang, oh, parati na kami nag-aaway ni Mrs. Parati kami nag-aaway ni Mr. Ano na? Ano, kayo, ano yung pwede namin gawin? Our relationship seem to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, bakit nga ba the long sweet talks, long hours of sweet talks, turns to be arguments? Yeah, nagkakaroon ng matinding discussion. Angry, Hawaii. angry silences. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so today we're going to talk on five ways to really apply this forgiveness in marriage. Yeah. And Again, why is forgiveness important? Yeah. Our relationship. We are not perfect as a couple, but because of these um, ways that we would like to share with you, it really helped us na maging strong ang relationship namin sa, sa isa -isa. And this is also our way of reminding ourselves of these principles. This is why we are having this kind of uh, conversation and we want to share the things that we're learning with you. Mm -hmm. yes. So we are happy. To start this so the first one that we will be discussing or talking is first one is forgiveness is a choice not, not a, a feeling. feeling so it is always a choice okay hindi lang siya yung dumating sa isip natin na okay forgive ko na siya and then later on maalala mo pa rin yung mga ginawa niya so it's, it is always a choice yeah we can choose to forgive yeah so it's not actually a feeling. It's normal that you feel really frustrated, ganyan, but you can always choose how to react. Lalo lalo na, if you will remember, yung uh, purpose why you get married. Ano yung uh, main goal nyo? Bakit kayo kinasal? At kung naintindihan nyo yung goal na yun at yung covenant ninyo, of course, it will be easy for you to choose we forgive ang bawat isa. And besides, wala nga pong perfect. Okay? Walang perfect na na nakupanyan. Yes. So, we move on. The second one is share your hurt. Yeah, share your hurt. So, um, Bakit nga pala? Bakit napakahalagay yes. na malaman ng isa't isa na, oh, uh, uh, na I have this feeling. Kasi, if you're not going to share your hurt or you're not going to be open with your feelings. We talk about that in our first episode with open and honest communication. This feeling will become a, will become resentment. Mm -hmm. So it will build over time. Baka dumating yung time na you cannot actually control yourself anymore. It's like we can compare that to uh, not brushing our teeth. Diba hindi naman um, uh, masisira ka agad yung uh, ngipin natin pag hindi tayo nag-brush sa isang araw. But if we do, at as we do it regularly na hindi na tayo nag-brush ng ngipin natin, in time, masisira talaga yung ngipin natin. Ganon din yung uh, hindi pag-share ng feelings po natin na pag nasaktan tayo, for example, yung mami may, may ganitong feeling na hindi naman aware si daddy. So as time goes by, pag lumalalim ng lumalalim ng lumalalim na yan at sasabog ka na, so, yun yung nagkakaroon ng matinding problema sa relationship na ang hirap ng patawarin kasi punong-puno na ng galit yung heart natin. So, napakalaga, please share that you are hurt. Mommies, so don't be afraid to share. And daddies, please accept and listen to, to, your, to your wife kung meron siyang gustong sabihin kung nasaktan siya. Yes, or even after apologizing, yung spouse natin has already apologized, we can still share how heavy our heart is. Kung gaano tayo nasaktan, how serious it was, so they would know. Sa relationship namin, uh, we have that time na, that my wife Chris is really sharing yung nararamdaman niya. And then later on, working ng bukasan, 
magaan na yung feeling niya. The same thing with me. Ganun yung ginagawa namin. Kasi napakahalaga na instead of sharing to other people that you are hurt, mas mahalaga na i-share nyo na lang together as a husband and wife kung ano man yung feeling na, na nararamdaman nyo or yung hurt feeling na yan. Yes. Alright, so... Moving on to the next one. Yes, number three, plan for change. Of course, napakahalaga yung plan for change. Napakahirap na over and over and over again na the same thing na nangyayari. Dapat you need to plan for change. Okay? Ibig sabihin, we need to grow a little taller each day. And be a better version of ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's okay if we do it once again, pero let's be more sincere in uh, changing, becoming better. Because our spouse would feel that, would yes. know. Yes. So, napakahalaga rin na open yung mind natin sa isa't isa and accept na, okay, I will change. Okay, I accept that you, your promise that you will change. Okay? It would be so, so sad if the mistake is intentional or mm -hmm. the hurt is intentional. But we can always change. Yes. Yes. Right? So, the next one is... Let go of the of the past. Okay? Naalala ko may favorite na song ang wife ko na Let Go of the Past. Ano yung song ba yan? The past. Yeah, the past. Okay? <laughs> Bakit nga na, na, na ba napakahalaga na we need to let, let go of the past? Yes. Uh, we we should not always bring back yung mga maling nagawa. Mm -hmm. Like, we have to stop the video kung baga yung mga memories natin na hindi na maganda. Yeah, kung hindi, parang sirap pa ka lang na paulit-ulit yung discussion. Sometimes, oh, for example, oh, yung nangyari two years ago, ibabalik pa ulit na ganito. So when, especially if you have already talked about it over, yeah. especially if you have already asked for, for apology, yeah. for forgiveness, you have already forgiven. So, just let go of the past. Move forward. Huwag nang pabalik-balik. So, napakahalaga na. Huwag po natin kakalimutan. Mga mommies, please, let go of the past. That is also, okay? Yes. <laughs> Alright. And the last one is... Give yourself time. Napakahalaga na. Okay? Mga daddies, huwag natin i-pressure si mommy na I-forgive mo na ako, ganito, na yung sinabi ko na lahat, lahat, naging honest naman ako. So, mga daddies, napakahalaga na bigyan natin ng time si mami na ponder niyo yung mga bagay-bagay na yun na napag-usapan ninyo. And after giving forgiveness sa spouse, give yourself time pa rin kasi it's not easy to forgive mm -hmm. and it's not easy to forget everything. So, give yourself time. And one more thing, iba-iba um, kasi yung sitwasyon din. Iba-iba yung experiences, iba-iba yung mga pinagdadaanan natin. So kung iba-iba rin, iba -iba rin yung level ng kasalanan, so ang kinakailangan talaga ng time, time to think, time to ponder, and time na uh, kung ano yung bagay na dapat nating gawin o decision. At yung time to ponder, napakahalaga din po yan yung prayer. So, huwag natin kalilimutan yung, yung prayer as we ponder, as we take our time sa sarili natin. Kasi yun yung makakatulong sa atin to forgive yung spouse natin kung nagkasala mo siya sa atin. And you said that we have different circumstances. So, there might be times na it is more appropriate actually to file for a divorce or annulment if the relationship is already abusive. Yeah. Or if, or if you're in an abusive relationship or sometimes medyo mabigat na, you will need legal advice with But this. don't get us wrong in, in what we are telling kasi iba-iba uh, nga, nga naman po yung sitwasyon natin in our relationship. Yung iba talaga uh, kasi binububog ng mister for how many years na you really need to seek a legal advice sa bagay na yan before, before deciding. Okay? And napakahalaga ang power ng atonement ng ating Savior na si Jesus Christ. Kahit gaano kapait, kasakit, pinagdadaanan natin sa family, 
in a relationship, only our Savior Jesus Christ can heal the wound. So our Savior Jesus Christ cannot only heal the broken souls, but can also heal the broken hearts. Maraming salamat again for joining us this early morning. Yes, thank you. We'll see you again tomorrow yeah, for another learned. episode. Yeah, I hope you learned something today. And please don't forget to comment below kung ano man yung gusto nyo pag-usapan uh, the next time, okay? So, enjoy your day today! Bye! Say bye!